good evening to you from Boulevard Stadium Hull and to International Speedway in the eighth staging of the Yorkshire Television Trophy meeting. We've got riders representing six nations, England, Scotland, New Zealand, Australia, Denmark and the USA. And among them possibly the greatest rider of all time, Ivan Major, MBE, six times world champion, captain of the Hull Vikings and winner of the Yorkshire TV Trophy for the past two years and now looking for a hat trick. Major has in fact won it three times. He was uh, successful here in 1975 in a sudden death runoff. Uh, but since then he's won the open event in 79 and 80 with maximum points. And would you believe he's 42 next birthday, yet he's still the second favourite to regain the world individual title at Wembley on September the 5th. And up against him tonight in this all-star international lineup, Bruce Penhall, the American captain and favourite to win that world title in September. And in Heat 3, our first look at Ivan Major, the home captain and, as I've said so many times, six times world champion. On the outside there, Frank Orpret from Hull. Next to him in the white helmet, Reg Wilson, former captain of the Vikings from Sheffield. Then Bobby Schwartz, the American, now with Reading Racers, the league champions. And on the inside, Ivan Major. Winner of the Yorkshire TV trophy for the last two years, can he make it three in a row? And perhaps we'll get an example of the lightning starting style of this incredible man. Over 40 years old, coming up to 42nd birthday in October and still right at the top. He won everything there is to win in the sport, still going for the top prizes and he's going for a hat trick on this one. Away he goes on the inside, Ivan Major straight as an arrow. There he goes into that first turn, number 10, but he's being challenged immediately by Bobby Schwartz, the American who goes past Major on the back straight. Really caught uh, Major by surprise. Now Major going very wide on that uh, third turn. Up in third place is Greg Wilson at the back. It's Frank Wolfwick from Hull. Major in a bit of trouble there, seemed to lose uh, power there on that... Uh, third turn on the first lap and he's now well behind Bobby Schwartz looks like a good night for the Americans so far Bruce Pennell having won the last race and Bobby Schwartz now out in front in this race and Ivan Major being pressed very hard indeed on the inside by Sheffield's Red Wilson Frank Orford still at the back Schwartz coming round now to take the flag with one lap to go Schwartz comfortably in control Major not uh, making any real impression at all and in fact the challenge is there for second place because it's Fred Wilson who's been putting a bit of pressure on to Ivan Major so they come round now to complete the four laps it's a comfortable win in the end for Bobby Schwartz and Ivan Major only just holds off Fred Wilson to get second place so there's Ivan Major dropping a point already and that uh, certainly puts the pressure on him on then to heat four and the riders from left to right, as you look, Sean Moran from Sheffield Tigers. Next to him, Mike Lohman from Bellevue in the white helmet. Then Graham Drury from the Hull Larder Vikings. And on the inside, that's the extreme right, Dennis Sigalos from the Ipswich Witches. And Dennis Sigalos moved to Ipswich at the start of this season in a world record transfer deal, which brought Billy Sanders from Ipswich to Hull and took Sigalas, valued at £30,000, to Ipswich along with another former Hull rider, John Cook. So let's see how Dennis Sigalas, who is a big favourite of the Hull fans, performs here tonight. He's in first outing on the inside, away he goes. Number 15 into that first turn, tracked on the outside by little Sean Moran, his fellow American. In fact, it's Moran who goes on the outside. A terrific back straight battle there on the first lap. Sean Moran on the outside. Trying to hold off Sigalos, Sigalos turns inside, but it's Moran in front. Sean Moran, another ex-Hull rider, he was transferred to Sheffield last season. And two really great crowd pleasers here. Still got a lot of fans here at the Boulevard. Sean Moran certainly having a very good season with Sheffield. And here he comes leading Sigalos. Sigalos seemed to do everything right going into that first turn, but the little American uh, Sean Moran, his fellow countryman, battled round him. Back in third place, a long way behind Graham Drury, and right at the back is Bellevue's Mike Lohman. Sean Moran having opened up a good lead here. He really battled there on that first lap to get the better of Sigalos. And as they go into the fourth lap now, the last time down the back straight, it's Sean Moran, only 19 years of age, from Lakewood, California. 
now the big favourite of the Sheffield fans who come wide on that last turn. He comes in to take the chequered flag. The winner in number 13, Sean Moran. Second, Dennis Sigalos, number 15. And third, Graham Drury from Hull, number 14. Last one up to the line then for this fifth heat is Sean Moran coming up there on the right of your picture and that's because it's his second successive ride. A winner first time out and the little American comes up against his American teammate Bruce Penhall who has also uh, won his first ride. So the riders in this heat are from left to right. Well, look. There on the outside is Reg Wilson from Sheffield. Next to him, Bruce Penhall. Then Bobby Beaton, then Sean Moran. And it's Penhall who flies out of the start there and straight into the turn. A little bit of bumping there, jostling as Sean Moran gets his way past uh, Bobby Beaton up into second place. Bobby Beaton knocked out of his stride there, so Red Wilson took over in third place. And as I expected, the battle up front between the Americans, if it's even going to be that, because Sean Moran's got a lot to do to catch up with Bruce Penhall. There's a little bit of a struggle going on at the back as Bobby Beaton and Red Wilson have a bit of a tangle for the third spot. But certainly out in front, it's Bruce Penhall heading for his second win of the night. In second place, his fellow American, Sean Moran. Then it's Bobby Beaton. And at the back at the moment, Reg Wilson. Coming down the home straight to start the last lap. There you are, Bruce Penhall, number five. Lovely relaxed style as he goes round. Down the back straight for the last time, he's got a big lead over his uh, fellow American, Sean Moran. And Bruce Penhall coming up to take his total to six points with another little wheelie, not quite as spectacular as the one he did in Heat 1. But it's a good win for Bruce Penhall, second to Sean Moran and third Bobby Beaton. Heat 6 and the riders from left to right, Larry Ross from Bellevue, Jim McMillan also from Bellevue. And two hull riders, Ivan Major and Graham Drury. And Ivan Major must realise that he can't afford to drop another point in this race. He was beaten into second place first time out, and he's seen Bruce Pennell pick up two victories. So he's really going to have to go for one this time if he's hoping to hang on to this Yorkshire TV title. Ivan Major, number 10, uh, second from the right of your picture, just digging out the bicycle groove there for his feet and his front wheel. And that's just what this starting style of Major. He made a good start last time, but then missed out. This time into that first turn, it's Graham Drury, his whole teammate, and Major in second place. Certainly seems to be down on power a bit tonight. In third place at the moment, it's Larry Ross, who's just moved up ahead. Uh, Jim McMillan. But out in front, it's certainly Graham Drury, number 14, from the whole line of Vikings. In second place, Ivan Major. And in third place at the moment, Jim McMillan from Bellevue. The Major just not seeming to get the power that he wants. We've seen him get some tremendous performances on this track, and certainly in this particular meeting over the years. And uh, there's certainly plenty of zip in the old boy now. But at this particular race, uh, he's well behind Graham Drury and he's slowing again. In fact, he's being challenged now by Jim McMillan. On the last lap now. So it's uh, a second defeat coming up for Ivan Major. And a good win for Graham Drury, certainly, after only one point in his first ride. He comes around to take the second flag now. Graham Drury wins, Ivan Major second, and Jim McMillan number two is third. On then to Heat 7 and the riders, Phil Crump, in the extreme left. From Swindon, next to him is the home rider, Joe Owen. Then Dennis Sigalos, a former hole rider. And on the inside, that's the extreme right, is Bobby Schwartz. And he won his first race and the other three of them all came second in their opening ride. So there's still plenty to go for for all four of these boys. And particularly for the man in the red helmet on the inside, Bobby Schwartz. The 24-year-old American from the British League Champions Reading Raiders. And let's see what sort of start he gets. Looks like a good one. From the inside, Schwartz takes that first turn nicely. In second spot, it's Dennis Segalos, his fellow American. And in third spot at the moment, Phil Crump from Australia. And at the back, Joe Owen from Hull and England. But the battle up front going on. There's a lost helmet colour there, so I'll have to identify for you. But in 
out in front it is Bobby Schwartz who was started this race in a red helmet has now got a blue one in second place it's Dennis Segala and Segala's making a challenge around the outside now there's plenty of dirt on this track Segala's who is the track record holder at home going back just a year when he was a very popular member of this team and he's now challenging through on the inside trying to get the better of Schwartz as they go down the back straight the two Americans having a rare old battle there Come round now with one lap to go. But it's still Schwartz in front. Segala second. A tight line there by Schwartz and Segala not uh, finding any room to get through on the inside. He's already had a go around the outside and I think he's going to have to settle for second place here. Schwartz hangs on. Segala comes back inside. And no, Schwartz wins. Second place to Segala and third to Phil Crump. Well, your riders for Heat 8 include on the inside, on the extreme right, Billy Sanders just coming up to the start line now. He won the first heat in 70 seconds, so he's uh, well in with a chance uh, of this trophy if he can get another win here and catch up with these flying Americans. From the outside, though, it's Mike Lohman from Bellevue, then Frank Orford from Hull, then John Eskilson from Hull, and Billy Sanders from Hull and Australia on the inside. And John Eskilson's first ride, he's having a bit of a team failure early on didn't make his first ride, he's out in this one, he hasn't made the track because it's Billy Sanders out in front and now it's Gilson challenging Frank Orford for second place and it's Mike Lowen from Bellevue right at the back as he was in his first ride, not looking too happy at all but Billy Sanders, a very good start for number 14, he won his first race, out in front in his second and he's the one that the whole fans now are going to be looking to to put the pressure on Bruce Penall and Bobby Schwartz later in the meeting in the lead, number 14 in second place. Frank Corfitt and Jonas Gilson back there in third place, the Danish rider who's on loan to Hull this season from Birmingham. It's his first season in British League. Frank Corfitt having a go there on the inside, trying to pinch a few extra feet, but not really making any impression on Billy Sanders. Sanders having a very good first season for Hull. This is his testimonial year, incidentally, but he's having that testimonial meeting at Ipswich, the track that he was with for nine years. And Sanders wins. In second place, it's Orford, and in third place, John Eskilson. Well, that's the situation after eight heats. All the riders having had two rides. We've got three leaders, Bruce Penhall, Bobby Schwartz, and Billy Sanders, all unbeaten with six. And next, Sean Moran with five. And as you can see, the holder, Ivan Major, is two points down at the moment, so he's got a fair bit to do in his remaining three rides. On then to heat nine, and the unbeaten Bobby Schwartz this time takes the outside berth. He's won his first two rides. Next to him, we have Hull's Bobby Beaton, and Mike Lohman coming out for his second consecutive run, and he's still got to get his first point so far. And on the inside, from Bellevue, Larry Ross, the New Zealand international, That's Larry Ross who with Ivan Major finished second in the World Pairs final in Poland just uh, under the fortnight ago. And as they go out of the tape, the man we're looking for is Schwartz on the outside and he's having to go right round them and he does and out into the lead down the back straight. That's Bobby Schwartz. A difficult turn there and almost into the fence goes Bobby Beaton. In second place at the moment it's Barry Ross and in third spot Bobby Beaton and at the back Mike Lohman. Great ride around the outside there by Bobby Schwartz. He was probably last in the first you know, 20 yards there, away from the tapes, but he made up all the ground around the outside, got plenty of drive, and uh, sailed away down the back straight, looking very good indeed tonight. Bobby Schwartz, formerly with Cradley Heath, then moved last season to Reading Racers, and did extremely well there, and helped the Reading team to win the British League Championship. And then with Bruce Penhall in Poland just over a week ago, won the World Pairs Championship to give America their first World Championship for 44 years. Mike Bowman has pulled up on the inside, so take a look at him as Bobby Schwartz comes round to take the checkered flag. Schwartz wins in second place, Larry Ross, and in third spot, it's Bobby Beaton. Riders for Heat 10. 
From the outside will be Jim McMillan, Dennis Segala, Bruce Penhall and Frank Orford. That's Penhall there, just making a mark with his right boot, digging the heel in there. That in the white helmet there is his American teammate, Dennis Segalos. And Bruce Penhall unbeaten so far, six points, and with Bobby Schwartz having won three on the top, then Bruce Penhall knows that he's uh, got to keep pushing away here and uh, get the points himself to uh, chase this Yorkshire TV title. There's Penhall there, just jabbing away with his right boot. I'd just like to make sure that they get the, the right amount of uh, drive out of the start. It makes so much difference. It certainly can do the right start in this type of company. So as they come up now to the tapes for Heat 10, it's Bruce Penhall and the likely challenger to him in this race is Dennis Tagalos in the white helmet. Let's see how they go. Sagalas who makes the break, but it's Penhall there on the inside and a great strap there, those two American riders battling around that first turn. Sagalas thought or looked as though he'd got there, but Penhall just came there and held it on the inside. Another helmet colour gone adrift, so we've now got two blue helmets in front, but it is number five, Bruce Penhall, who's in the lead, followed by number 15, Dennis Sagalas. Sagalas, I'm sure, would have loved to have won this meeting, coming back to Hull after his world record transfer to Ipswich. But it looks as though the American countrymen of his, uh, Schwartz and Penhall, are going to show him the way home tonight. And certainly, Penhall on his way to what looks to be and what should be his third consecutive win of the night. In second place, Sagala. And back at the moment in third spot, Frank Orford, with Jim McMillan bringing up the rear. One lap to go for Bruce Penhall. And he did the hard work on that first turn after the fine piece of gating by Dennis Segalos. And Penhall now safely negotiates the last turn, comes up to take the checkered flag, and that's nine points in the back for Bruce Penhall. Another second place for Dennis Segalos. And in third spot, Frank Orford. Riders for Heat 11, from the outside or from the extreme left, Graham Drury, Phil Crump, Reg Wilson, and the Danish rider, John Eskilton, just turning around there, not quite happy with the approach to the line, perhaps, or not too happy with something on his bike. Had a little bit of trouble with it earlier on tonight, missed his first ride, and just got one point second time out. But here they go, then, for Heat 11. And into the lead goes Reg Wilson. Down the back straight in second place, Phil Crump. A little bit uh, of a loop there at the start and lost a little bit of ground. So it's Reg Wilson in front, being challenged now by Phil Crump, who should be wearing number three, but in fact we've got number two on. And it's John Skilton in third place and Graham Drury, a winner last time out, now trailing at the back. Graham Drury beat Ivan Nathan in his last race, but it shows how fortune has changed. Out in front then, Red Wilson, heading for his, hopefully for his first win, but now being challenged by Phil Crump. And Crump on the inside there, on that top end, just over one lap to go. Crump coming through on the inside, now we've got one lap left, and he makes uh, something of this. Now he goes around the outside of Wilson. Yes, Crump now looking a little bit more like the Australian test star and the man who won this Yorkshire TV meeting back in 1974, but still hasn't quite made it. Now he makes one last challenge on the inside. Is he going to get there? It's right over the line together. And we'll just have to wait and see what referee Vic Harris makes of that finish because it certainly looked very close indeed to me. And in fact, the win has gone, and the points, to Reg Wilson, number nine, just edging out Phil Crump there on the line. On then to Heat 12, and an important race this for Billy Sanders. The lineup will be from the outside, Joe Owen, just moving across there with the stars on his leathers, Joe Owen, hull rider. Next to him, his team captain, Ivan Major. Then it's Billy Sanders. And on the inside, it's the American Sean Moran. 
And what an interesting race in prospect because Sanders is unbeaten so far with two wins and chasing the two American Schwartz and Penhall who've got three wins each. Sean Moran has dropped only one point so far, beaten by Bruce Penhall. And Ivan Major has four from a possible six. So it's a very intriguing race indeed this and one to certainly keep an eye on number four, Billy Sanders. He's second from the right in the blue helmet, Billy Sanders there hoping to keep up his sequence of wins and some strong challenge coming on shore from Sean Moran on his uh, extreme left, that's to your right, Sean Moran from Sheffield Tigers and Ivan Major in the white helmet. Going to hit 12 and only just there the takes, only just beating Billy Sanders' helmets. And what a great fire he got there as he ducked under them. Down the back straight challenge on the inside by Sean Moran with Ivan Major in third place. Sean Moran, like a Cossack horseman there, going around that outside, chasing Billy Sanders. Sanders having lost his helmet cover, but it's number 14, Billy Sanders. Should be number four, but it is Billy Sanders in the lead in second place. It's Sean Moran. Ivan Major has pulled up on the back straight and he's out of the race. So that's him finished with the Yorkshire TV trophy at four this season. And it's Sean Moran having a tremendous scrap with Billy Sanders. Sean Moran going round the outside now. And he gets in front. Billy Sanders now back in second place. Now can Sean Moran hold off? He goes very wide there on that top turn. One lap to go for Sean Moran. The little Sheffield Tiger wants a whole lot of Viking transferred last season and proving now so popular at Owlerton Stadium. In second place, Billy Sanders now dropping back. It looked as though he had this race sewn up until Sean Moran came there with a great burst and he takes the jacket flag. Sean Moran wins, second Billy Sanders and in third spot Joe Owen uh, with former world champion Ivan Major having dropped out after three laps. So that's the situation after 12 heats with each of the riders having two rides left. Bobby Schwartz and Bruce Penhall, two of the Americans and the World Pairs champions as well. Nine points apiece fighting an individual battle with Australia's Billy Sanders and Americans Sean Moran on eight points. And we could be heading for a showdown when Schwartz and Penhall meet in the final heat. But we'll take a break there. Join us again for more action in part two. Welcome back to the Boulevard Stadium Hull for the second half of this international speedway meeting. Well, an interesting heat 14 coming up because we've got the unbeaten Bobby Schwartz on the outside and we've got Sean Moran, his uh, fellow countryman from America, from California. Uh, he's got eight points, he's dropped only one point, beaten by Bruce Penhall and he's very much in contention for this television trophy if he can get a victory here over Bobby Schwartz. The other riders in this race, John Skilton in the white helmet and Jim McMillan on the inside from Bellevue on the extreme right. We're looking at Schwartz and Moran. And as they go into that first turn, back it's McMillan who makes that first turn. And now coming down the back straight, chasing him very hard indeed is Moran. And alongside him too is Schwartz. Now can they get past McMillan because both of them want wins and they're on the inside going up very hard is Schwartz through on the inside too is Moran McMillan sandwiched between the two drops back a little bit now exciting stuff there as they finish that first lap because the two Americans certainly knowing that Bruce Penhall's in such good form tonight couldn't afford to let Jim McMillan get away so now it's a scrap between the two Americans and Sean Moran battling away around on the inside and is he going to take it up? No, he just can't get his wheel there through in front of Bobby Schwartz. It's still Bobby Schwartz. Sean Moran, such a spectacular little rider. He'll give it all he's got, I'm sure, with one lap to go. Still chasing Bobby Schwartz very hard on the inside there as they go around. Yes, Moran comes through. But can he get the drive out of that turn? He's just nosing ahead now. Now Schwartz comes back on the outside. Schwartz just picked up that little bit more driver as they come around the last turn. It's a tremendous scrappage and Schwartz just gets the checkered flag. Moran after a terrific battle in second place and in third, Jim McMillan. But what a terrific scrap from the two Americans. On then to heat 15 and the unbeaten Bruce Penhall starts from the outside gate, number four. 
on the extreme left of your picture there, Bruce Penhall from Cradley and the USA, the American team captain, and alongside him, Ivan Major, these two great rivals for this year's World Individual Championship. Ivan Major at the moment, the second favourite, he, although he's won the title six times, and Bruce Penhall is the 4-1 favourite. And they'll come together in the overseas final of the World Championship at London's White City uh, on the 12th of July. The other riders in this race, Phil Crump in blue, number three, and Mike Lohman from Bellevue. Mike Lohman on the inside, that's the extreme right. It's still Bruce Penhall and Ivan Major there on the outside, sorting each other out. Ivan Major seems to be settled. Bruce Penhall now coming up. He knows Bobby Schwartz has already got 12 points and he wants to get a win here to join him in Heat 20 where they'll be backing it out for all this Yorkshire TV. Away they go into that first turn. And who's going to make it a very tight first corner indeed? And it's just Lohman. And Major are now they're shuffling through from the back. And Bruce Pennell's got a bit to do in this one. Bruce Pennell has really got something to do in this one if he's going to pick up the points because it's Mike Lohman. Quite a surprise, out there in front, Ivan Major has dropped back again, he's having a very bad night indeed, Phil Crump's in second place, and Bruce Pennell going round the outside in third place, and that's not going to be good enough with Bobby Schwartz, uh, having got four wins in the back, now he's up into second place, now what can Pennell do on the outside? A really exciting battle this, is Bruce Pennell and Mike Lohman and Phil Crump all locked together down the back straight. And Pennell going right down there on his left knee, now coming back inside the two of them. A terrific scrap as they go in now with one lap to go, and it's Pennell on the inside, forcing Loman out. Loman, Loman back in second place. Crump now back into second place. Now Crump challenging Pennell down the back straight on the inside. But Pennell, having had such a bad start to this race, has come through. He's done the job, he's done the business, and he takes the chequered flag. And Bruce Pennell gets his fourth win. In second place, Phil Crump. In third place, it was Mike Lohman. And that puts Bruce Penhall level with Bobby Schwartz on 12 points. And they meet in the final heat of the evening. On to heat 16. And the man who's really looking for points in this one is in the white helmet, Billy Sanders from the home team, Old Larder Vikings. He's got eight points from a possible... Uh, eight points so far for Billy Sanders from three rides. And alongside him will be Dennis Sigalos on the outside. Dennis Sigalos, the American who was with Hull last year and then moved to Ipswich. And Sanders, in the same transfer deal, which set a world record, moved from Ipswich to Hull. The other two riders, Larry Ross, the blue helmet, and on the inside, Reg Wilson from the Sheffield Tigers. But Billy Sanders, he's looking for points for a win in this race to put him in that crucial last heat with Bobby Schwartz and Bruce Penhall. They've got 12 already. If Billy Sanders can get a win here, that would put him just one point behind in that vital race, so he could still finish up the Yorkshire TV champion. But he's got to win this race first, and let's see what he can do. Billy Sanders in white, going round now behind Larry Ross, who's made the game. In third place, that's Dennis Sigalos. Sanders in second spot at the moment, being challenged by Sigalos out in front. No question about it is Larry Roth, the New Zealand international who rides for the Bellevue Aces. And Sanders could drop another point here. In fact, he could drop two if he doesn't watch out for Sigalos. He's making a very strong challenge now on the outside. Larry Roth not getting the challenge that he probably expected to get from Sanders. But it's certainly getting a bit dusty, and with the sun setting just at the end of the back, or the home straight rather, it can be very difficult for these riders when they've got to look into that setting sun. And uh, they've just got to ride on instinct most of the time until it goes down behind that terrace. There's still Larry Ross in front. In second place, Billy Sanders. Dennis Sigalos coming with another last bid now on this last turn. But Ross has got the race in his pocket. Ross has won it. And it's got to be second place for Sanders, and I'm sure he would have liked one extra point there in that race. Third place to Dennis Segala. Well, as we move on to heat 17, and Ivan Major makes a practice start behind the other three riders. It's certainly not been the best of nights for the defending champion. After two years of winning the Yorks TV trophy, he's had two second places, and he's retired in his last two rides. So Ivan Major not having a very happy night. 
and almost uh, went out there under the two minute time allowance. Next to him, Dennis Segalos, who's having his second successive ride. The seven points so far, then John Eskilton, the Danish rider, on loan to Birmingham, from Birmingham to Hull this year, and Bobby Beaton, Hull rider there on the right of your picture in the red helmet. Let's see if Ivan Major can get it all together in this one. He's certainly got the experience. He's not had the luck, he's not had the power tonight, but maybe in this race uh, he'll show Dennis Sigalos the world transfer, transfer record by last season, £30,000 from Holdridge, which maybe the old man Ivan will show him a thing to do in this one. Let's see. Sigalos who makes the gate alongside Bobby Beaton and Major on the outside. Missed the gate again very badly and he's at the back, so it doesn't look as though this is going to be his race either. Out in front it's Sigalos, followed by Bobby Beaton and John Skilton. And Major pulls up in fact, as he did in his last two rides. Looks as though he's been experimenting a bit with his bikes in the last uh, few rides and he's certainly not happy. Just came across the finishing line there and out of the race after less than one lap. So a very bad night for Ivan Major, finishing on four points. Out in front, Dennis Figalos with a good lead from Bobby Beaton. And in third place, Jonas Gilson. This will take Dennis Sigalos with points total to 10 from his five rides. Out of contention for the trophy. But not a bad return trip to the Boulevard where he was so popular last year. And on the last lap now, Sigalos must be some 30 yards clear. Of Bobby Beaton as he comes around the last turn. Dennis Sigalos wins now. In second place, Bobby Beaton. And in third place, John Eskilson. Well, heat 19, and the rider to watch undoubtedly should be Sean Moran in the white helmet. Because the little American who rides for Sheffield has got 10 points so far. And he knows what's going on in the last heat when Schwartz and Pennell and Sanders are going to mix it all together. And he could help make it an American 1 2 3 by winning this race himself. That's little Sean Moran who gave us such an exciting exhibition last time out. On his outside, that rider is Larry Ross. There's Sean Moran. Next to him, Frank Orfrit from the whole lot of Vikings who wears glasses under his uh, goggles. And on the inside, it's Phil Crump. We've got seven points so far. The captain of Swindon Robins, Australian star and winner of this trophy in 1974. Sean Moran, with 10 points to his name so far in the white helmet. He's the one we're looking for for the excitement. He doesn't make the gate, he's got number 13. He's caught up in a first bend valley there and he's right at the back of the field because out in front at the moment is Frank Orford followed by Phil Crump. Sean Moran in third place and now let's see if the fireworks start. And they have done because Sean Moran's battling his way through. He's still in third spot. Had a real goal there on that uh, inside corner. On the pitch turn now, he's wrestling with that bike to get through inside Phil Crump. But it's Frank Orford who is the surprise leader. Sean Moran having made a very poor start in this race. Frank Orford holding on in first spot. And Phil Crump, a very experienced Australian international in second place. And Sean Moran back in third. And he's really got an awful lot to do now if he's going to pick up more points than the one that he's heading for in third spot. One lap to go. I think he realises that in this dust that uh, he's going to have to settle for that now. Frank Orford, having made such a very good start in this Heat 19, looks to have the race in his pocket now if nothing goes amiss on the last turn. It doesn't, he comes round. It's a popular win for Frank Orford. In second place, Phil Crump. And in third, a little bit surprisingly, Sean Moran. So here we go then for Heat 20 and the big showdown to this 1981 Yorkshire Television Trophy. The crowd really tense here as they're bound to be because Bruce Penhall and Bobby Schwartz, the two Americans, have maximum points so far, 12 points apiece. Going into this and whoever wins this will be the Yorkshire Television champion for 1981. Billy Sanders there, he's got 10 points. So Billy Sanders is riding in fact in the yellow and black helmet. He'll be on the outside for the whole Vikings. He's got 10 so far. And uh, it's Penhall, Schwartz and Sanders, and Kelly Mar uh, Sean Moran has already finished with 11 points after Heat 19. So it's looking as though it could well be uh, Sean Moran or Billy Sanders for third spot. We've just got to see what Billy Sanders can do 
Penhall and Schwartz have been calling the tune all night, and it's down really to see what happens between these two. Bruce Penhall in the red, Bobby Schwartz, and it's a great start by Bruce Penhall as he flies into that first turn, and Bobby Schwartz uh, goes very wide. Bobby Schwartz back in second place. Billy Sanders at the back, or in third spot rather. Kim Major, who has come in as a substitute for Graham Drury in this last heat, he's at the back. Really can't be expected to get involved in this sort of uh, malarkey uh, against uh, Penhall and Schwartz. For Billy Sanders, there's a little bit of a challenge there on uh, lap two to Bobby Schwartz, but Penhall, after making a terrific start, is out in front. The two laps gone, he's doing the wheelies already. I'm sure he'll give us one as he crosses the line at the end if he keeps this lead up. Bruce Pennell, there's another one down the back straight. How this 24-year-old Californian loves to entertain the fans and how popular he's become. I wonder he's the favourite for the world title. There's another wheelie as he goes over the line. One lap to go. Bruce Penhall, just one lap, 415 yards away from being the Yorkshire Television champion. Another wheelie down the back straight. He's not even won the race yet. Penhall comes round the last turn. Mr. Spectacular. The Blom Bombshell, the fans love. And there it is, right over the line. A magnificent wheelie. Real showbiz stuff from this 24-year-old Californian. Bruce Penhall wins. Bobby Schwartz is second, and Bruce Penhall is the 1981 champion, the Yorkshire Television Trophy, and there's another bit of spectacular trip riding down the back straight. Lovely stuff from Bruce Penhall, 15 points maximum, and his first victory in this event. Shaking hands there, the two American, Bruce Penhall and Bobby Schwartz, they've given us some great entertainment tonight. And a very worthy winner indeed, Bruce Penhall, going back into the pits to the applause of the crowd. They love all this spectacular stuff, and particularly the wheelies. And a little bit dangerous, but uh, nevertheless, it's entertainment. And that's how it finishes up then. Bruce Penhall with a 15-point maximum wins the television trophy. Second, his fellow countryman Bobby Schwartz with 14 points. And it's an American 1-2-3 because Sean Moran takes third place with 11 because he had a faster heat win than Billy Sanders, the Australian. And that's how it's finished up. Bruce Penhall, the 1981 champion. So it's an American 1-2-3 and they're receiving the Yorkshire Television trophy from Miss Yorkshire Television herself, Della Dolan, is Bruce Penhall. Bruce Penhall with a 15-point maximum and what a popular winner. In fact, wherever this lad goes in British Speedway, uh, he's so popular and he really packs in the fans. So that's your Speedway action then from the Boulevard and from all of us here. Thank you and good night.